Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we had a few showers a couple of hours ago in our northern suburbs. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar quiet for now and really not anticipating anything widespread for this evening. Now, locally, we don't see much. Had a couple of showers. Even the rumble of thunder passed through northern portions of the area a little while ago to since dissipated. But uh, off to our west, and you can see out across the uh, Connecticut River Valley, just little isolated random showers. And one or two of these may come through this evening and overnight. So if you have outdoor plans for your Friday night heading out, it's a go. The weather's not a problem. Well, then maybe that brief passing shower. I mean, just to be on the safe side, maybe toss the umbrella in the back seat. But it's more the exception rather than the rule. In fact, sunshine has returned now in Providence. The temperature at 73 on a southwest breeze at 13. Relative humidity is at 57%. And you can see some of the uh, thunderstorm clouds and showers that came through uh, northern suburbs now passing through uh, Plymouth County in Massachusetts. We lucked out as far as severe thunderstorms. The only one that was relatively close by was in and around the Boston metro area and that has since passed offshore. Elsewhere, there's just been kind of a, a few generic showers and thunderstorms, but waiting on the arrival of a cool front through upstate New York and until that swings through, you have to keep that chance, even though it's small, of that uh, brief shower coming through uh, this evening and tonight. Uh, lightning track the activity in the Boston area has diminished. A few lightning strikes out across the Hudson Valley of New York, and even these have diminished as well. So good news there. Future cast starts off at around 8 o'clock this evening under partly cloudy skies. You can see every now and then a random shower passing through, but again, the chances are small. Advance the map to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're waking up to sunshine, and sunshine for a better part of the day through at least the early afternoon. This is 2 o'clock, and then by around this time, late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, some extra clouds rolling in, and eventually some scattered showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow night. So the daylight hours of tomorrow should be dry through at least say 6 o'clock in the evening, and then after that we run the risk of scattered showers and thunder. And again, just a small chance this evening as temperatures slip back to about 64 by midnight. Then overnight tonight, he'll hold in the lower 60s under partly cloudy skies, so not too bad. Waking up to sunshine tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., 64, 11 a.m., 78. And we're close to 80, around 80, 81 degrees tomorrow afternoon. You can see the extra clouds late in the day. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, some scattered showers and thunder. Beach forecast, sunshine for most of the time, some clouds late in the day. Water temperature getting up there at 61. Bay forecast has unlimited visibility and a northwest breeze turning west at 5 to 15 knots. Seven-day outlook uh, shows uh, that the daylight hours of the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, will be dry. A few showers and thunderstorms on Saturday night. Uh, uh, temperatures this weekend during the daytime in the lower 80s. That warm weather extends into early next week with some sunshine. Next chance of showers coming in Wednesday and Thursday of next week with temperatures in the upper 70s. You can download the Channel 12 app through iTunes on your iPhone or on the Android smartphone as well. So most of the time this weekend, it's warm and dry. Just a few showers at night. Okay. Thank you, Tony.